Welcome to the video series on the Portal Connector for Dynamic CRM. In this video, we'll explain in four minutes what the Portal Connector is and how you can quickly build dynamic and interactive CRM portals. Leveraging Sitefinity, an enterprise content management system from Telerik, the Portal Connector links your dynamic CRM system with a portal website. You can quickly and easily drag and drop forms, data grids, e-commerce shopping carts, you name it. If it's in CRM, you can add it to your portal. Let's start from the beginning in a simple scenario. You have a website and want a potential lead to be able to request information, and that information is populated into a lead record in Dynamic CRM. So you log into the administration area of Sitefinity and the Portal Connector, where you have the ability to manage all aspects of your portal website. First, we need to make sure we have access to the lead entity. We have the ability to connect to all entities in CRM, including custom ones. Yes, we're connected, so let's go build a form. With the rich and powerful form designer, we build a contact us form by simply dragging and dropping all the pre-designed widgets that relate to the lead entity in Dynamic CRM. I want to add the email field to the form, so I drag on a text box widget and point the field to the right source in Dynamic CRM. Notice how we can add pick lists and lookups, date time fields, static values, notes, subgrids, even SharePoint documents. When we're finished, we click Publish. Now that we've built a form, we want to add it to a page. So we find the page we want to work with, open it in design mode, find all our dynamic CRM portal connector widgets, and then drag and drop the form manager onto our page. Select the form that we want to add, that's the contact us form, and voila, the form is on our page. But let's go see what it looks like. We can preview it. Yep, looks good. All right, now that it's previewed, let's click publish, and the page is now live on our portal. Now let's go a step further. You want to secure a private portal for customers to log cases or view and pay for invoices. So we can set permissions restricting who can view certain pages on our website. Then in Dynamic CRM, it's a click of the mouse to manage a customer's access to your portal and what permissions and roles they are assigned. You can even manage and reset their password. It's made easy. Now let's add a grid of data to our customer support page, allowing logged in users to see only their support cases. So we'll add the add edit grid view, and we can define which data is populating that grid. In this case, it'll be cases, and loading the default fetch adds the fetch XML required, but if you want to build it out in an easier to use designer, we've added that for you. We can filter out that grid by almost any variable, including the logged in user or parent account ID. Rearrange grids by drag and drop, or even add new columns to your grid. And you can enable adding and deleting, exporting, even filtering your records with just a click of the mouse. Once we're done, we click Save and publish the page. Now, when a portal user logs into your portal and views support cases, they'll be able to see just their support cases and even edit and update the cases related to them. So there you have it, the Portal Connector for Dynamic CRM, explained in four minutes. For more information, visit our website at crmportalconnector.com or give us a call at 1-877-728-5457 or Follow us on Twitter at CRM Portal. Thank you.